Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is Morphology and Structure of Viruses. Let's start with definition of viruses. Virus is a smallest infectious particle unicellular obligate intracellular parasite so virus is the smallest infectious particle it can cause various diseases to human beings plants and animals it is unicellular it has a single cell obligate intracellular parasite that is it multiplies in the host cell let's see some important characters of viruses now characters of viruses in characters of viruses we are going to study size of viruses shapes of viruses structure of viruses and in structure of viruses we are going to see structure of capsid nucleic acid and envelope so let's start with it let's start from size of viruses viruses are smaller than bacteria and they are filtrable so, these viruses can easily filter through bacteriological filters. Size of viruses is measured by using ultrafiltration, ultracentrifugation and electron microscopy. So, these are the three methods that are used for measurement of a virus. Size of viruses ranges from 20 nanometer to 300 nanometer. Example, size of Parvovirus is 20 nanometer and it is the smallest virus whereas size of pox virus is 300 nanometer and it is the largest virus. Let's see shape of viruses. There are different shapes of viruses. Mostly all animal viruses are roughly spherical in shape but there are also different shapes of viruses. So maximum all animal viruses are spherical in shape but there are some viruses that show variety of shapes so let's see different shapes of viruses and their examples tmv that is tobacco mosaic virus is rod shape fox virus is brick shape rabies virus is bullet shape corona virus is petal shape rota virus is wheel shape and Astrovirus is star shape. Ebola virus is filamentous in shape. So you can see variety of shape. So first one is roughly spherical, rod shape, brick shape, bullet shape, petal shape, wheel shape, star shape and filamentous in shape. So this was about the shapes of viruses. Let's see structure of virus. Virus is mainly made up of two components and that is nucleic acid and capsid. But some viruses may show presence of envelope. So the two most important component of virus are nucleic acid and capsid. But some viruses show presence of envelope. Nucleic acid is enclosed with a protein coat called as a capsid. So nucleic acid is surrounded by a protein coat and this protein coat is called as a capsid and this capsid may be surrounded by a lipoprotein layer called as an envelope. So in the center nucleic acid is present surrounding to nucleic acid a protein layer called as capsid is present and surrounding to capsid there may be a presence of lipoprotein layer called as a envelope. Envelope is derived from host cell membrane so chemical structure of envelope of viruses is similar to the cell membrane of host cell. Let's see capsid. Capsid is made up of a protein coat called as capsomers. The chemical unit of capsomers are polypeptide molecules. Capsid show two types of symmetry and that are icosahedral symmetry and helical symmetry. Now icosahedral symmetry is made up of 12 vertices and 20 corners as well as it shows two types of capsomers that is pentons and hexons. Now the 12 vertices are made up of pentagonal capsomers that is pentons and the number of pentons are fixed that is 12. 
the sides are made up of hexagonal capsomers that is hexons and the number of hexons may vary now in helical structure here nucleic acid and capsomers are bound together to form a helical structure so here nucleic acid and capsomers get coiled to each other they are bound together and it may get coiled or itself on itself or the helical structure may be rigid so these nucleic acid and capsomers may get coiled to itself or the helical structure may remain rigid that is it may show a rod shape now some viruses may show complex symmetry now let's see the function of capsid capsid protects nucleic acid from nucleases and other environmental factor now role of nucleases is to disintegrate nucleic acid so here the function of capsid is to protect nucleic acid from nucleases and other environmental factors such as heat temperature water now capsid introduce viral nucleic acid into host cell by absorption mechanism this is the second most important function of capsid it introduces viral genome in the host cell now let's see nucleic acid viral cell have only one type of genetic material that is it may contain either dna or rna as a genetic material so any virus cell may contain only one type of genetic material it may contain either dna or rna but not both viruses do not contain the enzymes that are important for replication and multiplication of viruses so the enzymes which are necessary for replication and multiplication are not synthesized by viruses so virus cells are completely dependent on host cell for its multiplication and replication now let's see dna viruses now here it is clear that there are two types of viruses that is dna viruses and rna virus so let's see dna virus all dna viruses are double stranded except parvovirus parvovirus has single stranded dna so all dna molecules that is sorry all dna viruses are double stranded in nature now let's see the examples of dna viruses vaccinia virus human papilloma virus parvovirus herpes simplex virus hepatitis b virus and adenovirus so these are the some examples of dna virus further rna virus all rna viruses have a single copy of single stranded unsegmented rna and examples of rna virus are mumps virus measles virus influenza virus influenza a b and c rota virus rio virus human t lymphotropic virus and hiv further let's see about envelope envelope is the outermost covering of viruses the viruses that contain envelope are called as envelope viruses the viruses in which envelope is absent are called as non envelope virus so on the basis of envelope there are two types of viruses that is envelope viruses that show presence of envelope and non envelope viruses that show absence of envelope envelope of viruses is made up of lipoprotein molecules and this envelope is derived from host cell membrane during lysis of cell so when a viral cell carry out its multiplication its replication at the end stage when the virus cell undergo lysis of that cell it takes some part of cell membrane and forms a envelope and this envelope is made up of lipoprotein molecules these lipoprotein molecules are derived obviously from the host cell membrane the chemical composition of envelope is similar to the host cell membrane as the envelope is derived from the host cell so this was all about viruses thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment in the comment section